think they are one of the best shows I've seen in, a, in many, many years. And then you guys know my opinion. I'm just being... But... And welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite vocal coach Tanya Levy back on track. This time we are looking at the divas of the Queendom show. They're all out support to Rita. Now I'm excited to know are they actually friends in real life? Let me know in the comment section. Um, do they go well together because I mean there are almost 10 of them and yeah I can't believe sometimes the pressure can be very hard when you work with people that are really really fantastically fantastically amazingly good let's yeah let's see the show and i'm excited and let's continue okay just a small stop here you guys know me I'm being really honest here on the channel since I'm reacting to the divas it's just many many years I I shut it my mouth when I was reacting to Filipino content because I was afraid of getting the backlash and since I'm growing older and I'm getting in my mid 30s I'm thinking like nah I'm not gonna be sitting quiet there when I have the expertise I'm a professional vocal coach so first thing first, the instruments being way too loud and overpowering the singers. Then in terms, when you have a big band and you go full, full in volume with the band and there are so many instruments, then the singers have to at least go with chest voice or belting because to sustain that power and to work against this amount of volume and instruments, the idea of them being in a choir and singing soprano and falsetto and head voice stuff doesn't really add up, it doesn't work because you see that the band is way too loud overpowering the singers in dynamic and they sound like it just a choir that just cannot top up against that I'm missing again lower notes and middle, middle parts of good singers sustaining like if you think about a gospel choir you have you have at least like three four singers that go in chest full you know okay let's continue a bit yeah terrible just Terrible, and I love every. I really love them. I think I think they are one of the best shows I've seen in a, in many many years. And then you go, guys, know my opinion. I'm just being. But you have no chance now to hear those beautiful harmonies. How if the band is so loud? It's not being done. They are overpowering. I know. Yeah, it's just it's not it's, it's not working here for me. So. Too messy, too loud, too much drums here. No. Oh, the microphone's being very... Ah, okay, no. Gives me a bit, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting triggered. Do you know that feeling like it, it really kind of like buzzes in your fingers? You, you get an anxiety attacks. This is me. If I see something <laughs> that I'm not adding up, I'm just getting like, ah, I want to go there directly. I want to say, come on, can you, can you turn the volume? I cannot hear the singer. I cannot hear, yeah, yeah thank you. Now I hear the singer. Um, okay, but. I cannot focus on singers at the moment. Okay, let's stop being this. Let's continue. Um, overall, I like that start with with, um, with singing. I'll be there.
Is Rita going or why is this happening here? Yeah, so she done a really beautiful from chest going into mixed voice. Um, you could have heard that in this uh, in that on part where she would going from. She has a very strong chest. If she continues practicing on her mixed voice, they both will blend fantastically without the, the audience understanding that she's doing this in mix. It can become a very very much more chesty belty mix. Um, it's sometimes very difficult for singers to work exactly on that part. The question is, how do I make my chest uh, my uh, chest mix stronger? And that can be working with different consonants, yeah, in, with different vowels. Um, consonants would, would work very fine. I can also try to figure out which tongue position is the best for gaining more power. Let's continue. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful voice. I love her voice. So maybe you can let me know in the comment check sections why they are doing this um, so all support to Rita, what is happening, what's going on with her, am I missing out on something? Um, well, I really loved that ending part. Last time when I was reacting to a video, she got a solo where she was dancing and stepping around and I thought, mm, that's not so good, she has, she's such a great big voice and then she gets a solo where she's with those guys dancing there and you cannot really, she cannot really go into full singing, right? And I think for big voices that sometimes doesn't work. If you have a voice like Dua Lipa, I think that, yeah, you are not a vocalist, you are a performer, that works fine. But if you are a singer, vocalist, they have so much mass on their vocal folds, it's very hard for them to thin out, to reduce power. Beautiful head voice. Yeah, Thea was doing a really good start, no? With some with some really nice head voice there. Um, it's amazing how many new songs, how many old songs I'm really, you know, getting back in my repertoire, remembering, oh my god, yes, true. That's a song I was listening to, and it's so nice they're making such a beautiful duet out of it. And then of course so powerful, right? Let's continue. 